What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another BPL team of the season wager match. Today guys, we are wagering for Nastasic. Now he goes for around 45,000 on PlayStation, a little bit less on Xbox 360. Here's the last of the cheap wagers. Uh, everyone after this is 200,000 or more. Um, so, you know, we're going to be getting into the, the serious stuff. We've also already got some like really good players on the team that somebody's going to have the opportunity to win. Mainly Hazard there, Gerard is obviously expensive, uh, Benteke is quite expensive and Leighton Baines as well. Uh, we won Benteke in the last game, I forgot to show me putting him in the team. Uh, we've also got Begovic who is a confirmed substitute on the bench there, so he has been won as well. So we've won 12 players out of 13 games and today we're playing for Nastasic. But if you guys would like to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, check out UT Coin Trade. Traders.com. Their link is in the description, a very fast and reliable service. But uh, we're going to go and see if the guy's locked in the card and then get into the game. Okay, guys, here we go. Nastasic has been locked in in a 4 4 1 1. So uh, I'm going to go and invite the, the guy to a game and hopefully we can pick ourselves up another BPL team of the season card. Okay, guys, my man has joined the game. Let's see what kind of team he's rolling with. FC Mancunia. Let's see what he's got. He has got a 3-5-2 BPL. Incredible team. It's very similar to the one I just played, actually. Inform Sturridge, Aguero, Inform Tarapt, Hazard, Zaha, Torre, Team of the Season Carrick, Team of the Season Williams, Team of the Season Begovic, Inform Koscielny, and Inform Sanya. It's actually exceptionally similar to the team that I just played. A few different players, but even a few of the same Inform. So this is going to be yet another tough game, but hopefully we can pick up um, hopefully we can pick up ourselves Team of the Season Nastasic. Oh, he's done me. He's absolutely sold me down the wing. Oh, he's, that's a great ball. Oh, that is a fantastic save. Oh, wow. What a shot that was. I'm surprised the keeper managed to save that. I didn't even see that as a shot. I thought that was going to be a defensive header there. Oh, I can't deal with this scoop turn, man. I really can't. I could deal with the chops though. The chops I eat all day long. Oh, that's some nice defending. That's, my attack is really, really obvious this game. And this guy is just, he's going to scoop turn and scoop turn and scoop turn. And it's frustrating, but uh, we'll deal with it. We'll find a way. There we go. Let's get that ball through and the ball in. And the ball around. And we've got some space ourselves here with the ribbery. What are we going to do? Far post is on. There's the header. Boom. 1-0. Marco Royce with the header. Probably the goalkeeper should have saved it, but I will take the goal and take the 1 0 lead. Oh, that's a nice interception, that is. Oh, we've got a break on here again. Three on two. This is nice. Oh, that is really nice. And really nice. And then the space for Robin and Robin and. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, that's a great finish. Frank Ribery. I can't believe that actually went in from that angle. I can't believe I didn't score in the first place. I oh, and the Robin there with a fantastic little, just little shot past the goalkeeper and the rebound comes out to Ribéry who makes it 2-0 after 23 minutes. Oh, Alves in acres and acres of space. And again, he's just sold the guy. Whips in across. Oh, almost the overhead kick there, almost. And the pressure just mounts on this guy right now. Here's Royce with the long shot. Oh, what a strike that was from Marco Royce after 26 minutes. 3-0. And this is no easy game. Like, this scoreline is flattering, you know. I've had three attacks and I've scored three goals. Like, it's really, really flattering. But um, you've got to take them when they come, you know. So I'm happy with the 3-0 with the lead right now. But uh, this game is by no means over. Oh, here goes Royce again. And Ribéry is in space here. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Am I going to get it back? I have done. And there is a fourth goal. And once again, guys, I don't deserve to be 4-0 up. I 100% do not deserve to be 4-1 up. But Sorry, 4-0 up. But I'm happy that I am. And there's no coming back from this. You know, four-goal lead is, is difficult to come back from at, at the best of times. So hopefully I can just not fuck this up, basically. And that is half time, guys. And we're 4 0 up at half time. God knows how. Like, genuinely don't know how I'm 4 0 up. Like, it doesn't deserve to be 4 0. That's 100% true. Take a look at the match stats. I've had nine shots and six on target to his six and five on target. And I'm 4 0 up. This game is just nonsense sometimes, you know? Really is. And we take a corner from that, guys. Some nice attacking play there from Ramirez. We pick up the corner. Marcelo whips the corner in. There's the header. And that is 5-0. Luis Gustavo. 
I'm pretty sure I said it in the last game. Corners are ridiculous in this game. You know, I score and concede from unlimited amounts of corners. But 5-0 is a score now, guys. And that is game over. Oh, here goes Robin. Robin's through. And Robin's going to score here, guys. This is going to be 6. And that is 6-0. And uh, 61 minutes in. The game's over now. Um, that's pretty much it done. It doesn't deserve to be 6-0, but that is the scoreline. And that's how foot works sometimes. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And we're through here again with Robin, guys. And he's bringing his keeper out. He's lost all of his composure here. And bang, there is a goal from Ramirez for 7-0. The guy I'm playing against, I mean, I, I understand why he's mad, you know. He doesn't deserve to be 7-0 down. He probably does, doesn't deserve to be losing, really. Like, it's it's been an even game. But he's lost his call. Cool. He's just sliding all over the place. He's trying to score skill goals now. And, um, you know, the, the game's done, essentially. The game is, is pretty much over. And that's 8-0, guys. I and Robin with another goal. He's just all over the shop. And it's it's one of those things, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's sitting there, like, really, really mad and uh, just lost his call. He's, he's not defending very well. Um, and, it, and it's because he doesn't deserve to be this far down. You know, he, he doesn't. this doesn't deserve to be the scoreline. I kind of feel a bit bad for him that it is 8-0. Um, but at the same time, you know, this is, uh, this is ultimate team. This is the way this game goes, you know. So um, it's kind of how it is. And this is probably going to be nine here. And there's Gustavo to make it nine nil in the 86th minute. And every, att I'm scoring with every attack now. I was scoring with every attack at the start of the game. Like I was three nil up after like 20 odd minutes, and I'd only had three attacks. And that's how like that's how difficult this game can be sometimes. You know, like sometimes you can have three or four attacks and not score. Your opponent attacks one time, hits you with a you know hits you with a sucker punch goal, and before you know it, like you've lost your composure and stuff. I feel bad for the guy, like I said, 9-0, like, especially with the team he's got. like it's That's a crazy scoreline, you know, and 9-0 um, is going to be a hard pill to swallow. So uh, fortunately for us, though, we're going to get Nastasic, which is nice. And that is full-time, guys, and that is full-time at 9-0. So we pick up another win. Uh, goals from Royce the Ribery, Royce the Ribery, Gustavo, Robin Ramirez, Robin and Gustavo. Uh, to make it 9-0. And like I said, guys, it, it's not a deserved win. 9-0 is not a fair scoreline. Um, we'll take a look at the match details. So I had 16 shots and 12 on target and scored 9 goals to his 11 shots and 8 on target to score 0 goals. Like, that is harsh. You know, that is really harsh. The the possession is even. The passing was very even. 9-0 is a ridiculous scoreline. I'm glad I'm on the right end of it and not on the wrong end of it. But let's go and claim our Nastasic. So guys, we move on to the trade pile and we get to accept the Nastasic trade. The training card is where he was sent to. Uh, we accept the offer and of course Nastasic goes to the trade pile because he is a duplicate. But he goes into the team for the uh, the final game once we get to it. we still got another, about another, I think, nine games left. Nine or ten games left. But um, let's go into the team, guys. Now we start playing for the big guys, like the absolute big wages. There's no one little left. Um, all the small ones have been done, Nastasic being one of them there. Um, let's put him in instead of Jagielka, just for that chemistry reason. But that is the team that we've got so far, guys. So we've got Benteke and Michu, Jakob, Gerard, Hazard, Aretha, Nastasic, Williams, Baines, uh, um, Zabaleta, Mignole, Begovic, and Jagielka. And it leaves, guys, these following players to play for, which is going to be the next sort of few games. Bale, Van Persie, Suarez, and Suarez I'm going to be playing for against a fellow YouTuber called Zygro. Uh, Juan Mata, Czech, Kozola, Ferdinand, Vertonghen, Fellaini, and Arteta. If we can win those 10 players, or at least 6 or 7 of those players, I'll be a very, very happy man, because it means I'll be playing for a full blue BPL team of the season against a lucky subscriber, and if they beat me, they get to take the lot. And if I win, I get to keep the lot. So it's going to be a pretty huge match, guys, but for now, this is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all the likes, the love, and the support that you guys give as always. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!